We received an emergency request from the spokesman asking for our help in freeing a VIP sympathetic to the resistance cause. Advent forces are holding the captive somewhere in this area, and we're expecting a steady contingent of reinforcements to back them up. Lock down the area, eliminate all hostile resistance, and secure the VIP. So welcome back to more mod gem. More Long War of the Chosen, and we have some some missions ahead of us here. Yeah? Menace one five, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. First of all, we have this mission at hand, which is just your average VIP extract. Well, not extract. Rescue from the cell. Get to the extraction point. Um, nothing too special about this, but we have a inter retaliation with the assassin waiting for us. Uh, we are about to get a full retaliation in India with the hunter. Um, we've got company. We've got company up top. Don't particularly see you all that well there. Maybe I can just. Uh, what, what, what am I looking here? Ranger, combat medic, assault. More of a direct confrontation. And a squad here. So I'm wondering if I'm gonna get you here. Do we just throw it out? No. This thing's armored, so IP grenades kinda of, kinda of crappy. Um he's not. There was a third one, and I don't know what the third one was. Um there's also the issue of this little half cover thing blocking my damage. So, I think they are very likely to walk down here. So we might get an activation no matter what we do. Or we right might just now. activate them this way. A Pathfinder Hunter, okay. Running inside. Okay. Now, Astro should be able to grapple up there and say hi to this guy. He'll be Kiwi. That's Latin for everywhere. Job done. Cool. Then I think we got a running gun there, the Pathfinder, and we need some extra mobility to actually get in there, so dedication. Rune and gun, and we still can't get in there. Well, we can get in here. Gotta be good enough. You wouldn't miss a 92, would ya? Um, hmm. Do we, do we just, you know, play it absolutely safe and smoke us up here? For the aim boost. It'd be nice if somebody else also benefited from it, but you're too far away. So I'm considering just taking the shot. If that kills the drone, I can just move Mooney a dash her up, then drop the smoke, so she at least has the aim for the next two turns. Is that, is that overthinking it? Oh, it's going, it's just... I uh, hit the shot. Yeah. I should have been more specific. Hit the shot and kill the guy. Hmm.
You can't get a flank on that guy. More damage grenades. Also not the, the, the most likely thing to have happened here. A clever ploy. Let's walk for a second. 61. So if I now do the smoke. Granate! I have an 81 on this walk for No one else dies by your hands. Which takes care of him, alright. And this turns into a 95 to kill the drone. To severely damage the drone. I mean, not even. You're not even stunning anybody. City drone? Mistake. I feel light on my feet. An efficient kill. Almost time for a reload. Alright. First group handled. With you know, absolutely no no flaws, no effort. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna hide here on the on the staircase a little bit. The ability to jump out there, come back out here, and generally be out of vision. Right. Just gonna come in there, and you're probably gonna just dash up. Will you not aid me in my vengeance? Alles klar. And you also come in there. Busy as ordered. Okay. Moving on. Covered. I mean, we gotta have some more enemies somewhere, right? Heading for that location. No, maybe. Go, go, go. Testing this unit's agility. Yeah, we're a short, uh, close-range spot. So let's get everybody in there. I will join you shortly. Kein Problem. You just fly there. Bin dabei. Very weird. Oh, hi. Oh, you almost had him. Kein ah, Trooper Sector at Harrier. They were not on alert, so they won't take any shots. Well, however, we really that it. That's a lot of armor on the area. I think we just might do the shredder gun here. Might kill the trooper and destroy any potential loot, but just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Uh, ideally, without hitting my own assault. I don't understand the shredder gun. Like, how did I hit him for four and him for seven? When like damage fall off is supposed to be further away from the center and further away from the the gun itself. So like this is, should have been on the extreme edge. I don't. I, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, 
Oh, I need scope? Proceeding Game is feeling order. generous today. I stand ready. Just how many people do I have to kill to I'm get a it. legendary to drop? And I suppose one more won't hurt. Ah, um, I'm wondering if we just get car. preemptively smoke here. We did a lot of noise uh, in the middle. In the middle of the maybe not an AP grenade. Uh, let's try smoke. See if we can get everybody in there. Everybody except the spark. Probably needs it the most, but yeah, it's fine. It's Just to be a little bit protected in case there's a group around the corner that wants to yellow alert us. Overwatch, aye aye. Hatred must be tempered by. You know, like that group. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well-equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Thank you, Bradford, for that introduction. I was really wondering what's up with those guys. Why was there no flip-off? <laughs> so, um, as, a, as a side note, I did do a complete reinstall of XCOM today. So some settings for some mods might not be uh, what they usually uh, just yet, just because I haven't gotten around to fixing everything yet, or maybe forgot about the thing here and there. Um, so yeah, I'll get to it over time. What I won't get to is those guys. What are we doing here? We've got running gun available. We've got the grapple available. I think just grappling up here, taking care of this right. guy. Hang on a second. I have two actions. Why don't I give you a good old slash first? It's then even minimum damage look. That. Cool. Stomp, stomp, stomp. The overdrive. Um, we need Real to reload so that we can do collateral on these two guys. <laughs> Except there's no cover in the way. Did you really think? You could collateral something that's behind low cover. Oh, you should know better by now. I care. One of them, I think, is even hunkered down. So yeah, I care more about collateral than about taking an actual shot. Most points if I can actually also hit the guy in the back. Well, I'm not gonna spend the rest of the afternoon here trying to get that shot. All right. Excuse me. That is not indestructible cover. Uh, it certainly was not was not indestructible. Yeah. I depart. We have you an officer, so you could command somebody. Take another shot. Do we have an autoloader there? Yes. Okay. Okay, then that's that's the play. Side. Yes, commander. Get to those cells. I 
I'm ready to continue the hunt. We should gather these. Hardly a challenge. Then, dedication again. Running gun again. And that's hopefully enough for Mr. Guardian. Right, open it. Agility PCS. Okay. Cool. I think that's that's it. That should be the map. We over infiltrated, so it was seven to nine. We killed nine. What we got here? Small supply cache, advanced PCS. Let's give it a system infiltrate, and we're grabbing the supplies then next turn. Just to, you know, extra safety, get it at 100%, it's fine. I think we should have the time. Time with the reinforcements here. Proceeding as ordered. Can't wait. We can stand here Schon and not open the door so we can actually activate the VIP. VIP in Sicherheit. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we already me. have the VIP. Just can't get out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay. On it. Like, advanced PCS could be something kind of useful, right? And advanced speed is always nice, but there's so many crappy advanced PCS. I'm not gonna take the gamble, and we need lots of supplies. Yeah. Now you can come out. On top, kids! Ah! On it. I don't see you running anywhere. Be a pleasure. How do I run in heels? Faster than you, that's Just for sure. Get out. Hey, stop screaming. Then you guys can leave already. Just like confirmed. that. On the move. Did we have... There's a hacky tower over there. I'm gonna try to... Double back for that. Did I did I just evac my uh, Dragoon? Well, he's in the evac zone. Ah, whatever. Father really outdid himself, didn't he? Coming. Okay, yeah, just um, before I evac everybody, let me just do a quick pause here, and I want to go through the mod options. Some mod options are only available from the tactical layer, so that I want to take a quick look. I, just to make sure everything is set up as we used to. Uh, I'll be... Alright, let's evac out. VIP in Sicherheit und bereit zur Evakuierung. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. If anything, I fear we are making it easier for them to catalog our people. I would like to assure the citizens of Advent that our peacekeepers will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The elders have total faith in if every mission goes this smoothly, it's only a matter of time before we regain control of the planet. Ah, that's a nice number of promotions we got there. Alright, so you're gonna get locked on. For more shooting the same people. Uh, you're gonna get, uh, I guess, uh, Trojan. Uh, yeah, we're gonna build you. 
standard killer instinct kind of thing. Now, I did notice in the mission we were at 85% to crit, right, when we were up close to some enemies. Um, close and personal. Does this shotgun. I want. Does this have a different base crit chance than a standard shotgun? Anyway, you. Combat medic. Your aim is not fantastic. <laughs> we're not taking healing touch. Come on. Okay, we're taking slug shot. We're not. We're not doing uh, here rave and justice kind of shenanigans. Touch. Get out of here. Um. Yeah, got that elite scope, double core, and got a data pad, pop burnout. Yeah, some stuff we can sell, 31st supplies, and a saboteur. So let's take a quick look at them here. So, saboteur starts with Phantom Sapper. Nate Trap, Tactical Movement, which grants Parkour and Failsafe ability. Parkour is, you know, scaling up and down walls. Um, and then they have Teardown, Free Action, Detonate, and Environmental Explosive, which, you know, kind of counts as an Environmental Explosive. So that's pretty nice uh, base set. Uh, so it's kind of stealthy, but also with Sapper and Grenade Trap, maybe not so stealthy, maybe a little bit loud. Now, you have low mobility, regular aim, and high health, which is great. Um, what else do we have? So what I usually build um, on the Saboteur, and what I've always had fairly good success with, is a um, center row kind of build where you go around, you're basically the scout for the team, right, with Phantom, but you also have some sniping or, you know, takedown abilities. Um, thanks to Quick Feed, so, you know, you basically you take a shot, Quick Feed refunds one action because you just broke concealment, so you take another shot. Um, Fade allows you to re-enter concealment, and then either you move or you take a shot, Break concealment, quick feed triggers again, gives you another shot. Then you can uh, repeat the whole thing with conceal, you know, re enter concealment for the mission, and then again, break concealment, quick feed, fade, break concealment again, quick feed. It's allowing you to basically take three shots from stealth, more or less, with the crit bonus from Shadowborn, with damage bonus from first strike, from surprise. Um, all that good stuff stacking on top of each other. So that's what I usually go for. Um, now, part of me wants to say, hey, let's maybe change it up. Let's see if we can do a grenade saboteur with like total combat and engineer and full kit and biggest booms. Since we, we are kind of grenade heavy in this campaign. But that kind of feels like It feels like you're just building a shitty Grenadier. That doesn't have a... Well, I guess Total Combat is kind of like a grenade launcher, but then again, you're giving up all value from Phantom. Because you want to be throwing that grenade on the first engagement. The other thing is, um, looking at the XCOM row here, Blend... Um, immediately grants concealment. Which then triggers quick feed again. It's just gonna super tie in with this whole playstyle. Um, Predator will give us even more crit chance if we can line it up to the type of flanking enemies. Like this is this is just saying shooty builds. Like that's, that's really then the, the question. We only have low combat intelligence, so that's 35 points to play around with. 
and I think it's got to be it's got to be planned if we go in for this route. So, so the idea is first first strike for more bonus from concealment, more damage. Um, take no penalties from using spot side. Well, we don't have spot side though. Surprise, fade and conceal for sure. Quick feed is kind of the the central perk which everything revolves around. And obviously you Shadowborn for aim and crit. The, the real question is the middle row here, uh, the corporal row. So you have the detonation shot. We can explode, detonate explosives carried by an enemy. Like very situational, can be a decent opener on an enemy group. Like if you have an advent grenadier with a fire grenade, you expl explode his grenade from phantom concealment and set everybody in the enemy group on fire. But that seems so niche that I'm kind of leaning towards heat. Like, um, to make up for the fact that the most of the damage bonus here relies on flanking enemies, right? And we can't flank robotics, and this way we actually still do a little bit of decent damage against robotics. So yeah, we gotta go with that. Um, yeah, and then blend and blend and probably predator. We're gonna have to see what else we're gonna take. All right, let me just check something else. Surprise is plus one damage while flanking your target, so there's no weapon restriction. First strike is vector rifle, so primal weapon only. But this surprise has no restriction. I was just wondering if pistol skills make some sense to take advantage of the damage boosts, but if it's really just one damage from surprise, I don't think that's going to be worth it. So, with that out of the way, resistance contacts, that is fantastic. That makes up for the fact that we didn't get a um, plus one contact lip free mission over here. Alright, we've got. No, that's the supply rate. This one is the protect the data tab. Um, we have our scientist in here, so we need to make sure that they stay alive and don't get sliced up by the assassin. And yeah, then 14 hours until death happens. So we might um, run into some troubles with willpower here on, on people. Can we wait for combat armor? What did I say? 12 hours? That does not feel feel like I should be waiting. Um, okay. Let's build a squad to fight the assassin. Now, since we still don't have any um, death perception PCS, right? We might as well give you some focus. So you're gonna go on every one of these missions. We're kind of in the 30s. You guys are infiltrating somewhere else. Yeah, right. Alright, so let me see. Let me just throw you out for a second. You make sense, you make sense, you make sense. Sniping, sniping. Oh, well, Dragoon and Specialist seems like 
doubling up. And Dragoon at least has concealment because we need a little bit of scouting. Uh, I don't mind the combat truck smoke, so that's all fine. Okay, so fighting the assassin now. Who else can we bring? I do like the extra mobility and stuff here from the combat medic with the, the grappling. Not necessarily for the assassin, but for everything else that's on the map. Yes, similar here with the Storm Rider. It's good to help clean up the initial groups. Not necessarily perfect for the fight against the Assassin. If we can get a weapon upgrade. We can probably get another sword here. Plasma etched. So that would be actually my last mutant corpse. For now, at least. Let's question if we want the Ionic Ripjack instead. First of all, fill up that last slot here. So we have another good um, shotgun here on our assault. So we can bring either him or bring Jane Kelly here as the crasher. Let's bring you on this and then probably Jane Kelly on the other. Um, on the other retaliation because you are low on willpower 26 max kinda, kinda not very good yeah i think we gotta we gotta go for a sword here yeah, for logical So the plasma etched. Um, I'm not even sure if if the mod is showing the exact stats here. No, it's not. So the plasma etched has a higher crit ch uh, chance, I think. But most importantly, it has a larger damage range, and it also gives you an additional attack action. That's the mutant ability. Guaranteed to be a critical hit. And ruptures. It does cost a whole bunch of more um, alloys, though. I think we're gonna take it. Do we have any more? We've got one trooper. You already have trooper armor for your concealment. That's fine. I think you're just gonna get it because you have low HP and no proper protective gear.
All right, that's our squad. We've gonna get a intel retaliation against the assassin. We gotta protect our scientist. Um, and we gotta protect as many rebels as possible because we're trying to liberate this region. So we want those to work on the supplies and not die fighting the assassin. Um, hang on. Do we... I think we just spent most of our money. Maybe enough for the throwing knife. Probably here in the red, is it? Isn't it? Vibro knife? Or oh, isn't the throwing knife? Do we even have that yet? Is that maybe unlocked with the Lancer research? Triple checking everything here. It's probably on the Lancer research, isn't it? Oh, I'm just not seeing it. Wouldn't be the first time, would it, hey? Alright, uh, we're gonna put a cut in here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.